Hello everyone and welcome to another hammer tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D skybox for your map. Now assuming that you have your entire main map like already made and you have your skybox texture around it and everything and you, you want to make sure that it is the tool skybox texture not the 2D tools uh, skybox then what I would do is I would turn off the auto viz group for sky here so your skybox is no longer in the way. The whole method behind this is you're basically building your map farther out. So say like this, I want to make it look bigger than it actually is. So you're actually going to build the map as if it was bigger. So say like this. And I'm going to chop this building into multiple parts like this. So now we've got this uh, for the 3D skybox, you want to add a sky camera to your map. And this sky camera entity is basically what projects the view from the 3D skybox onto uh, the main level. And so, you basically want to drag your sky camera onto the map origin like this. And it's, uh, you, you can see the axis here, the axes, I don't know. And once you have that, you want to hold control, have this selected, and select your entire 3D skybox that you want to have as your 3D skybox. You want to have texture, scaling texture lock up here enabled. And then you want to hit control M, go to scale, and type in 0.0625 in each value and basically this is just scaling down all your brushes 16 times uh, so they're 16 times smaller because what this the uh, sky camera does is it scales everything in the 3d skybox up by 16 times so it's basically just undoing what we're doing here but you know it's just yeah all right now that you have this you just want to drag it off somewhere it doesn't really matter and what I suggest you do is turn your brushes into uh, a brush entity so they don't create viz leaves because viz leaves in the skybox are no good so now you just want to drag you want to make the skybox around this uh, mini you know the 3d skybox just like this so here's the 3d skybox and this should be projected from here you can enable fog in the sky camera here if you use fog enable and you could set the fog parameters and everything so if you wanted fog in your 3d skybox um you know it's useful for making things actually seem farther away because that's just how the world works and i don't think i explained the reason for the sky camera being at the world origin but that's basically to preserve the offset of your map to the world origin. So now, when we compile the map, everything should be perfectly fine. And as you can see, in game, the 3D skybox is fully working. Also, this is, oh, there is a little bit of a scene, but that's kind of unavoidable with 3D skyboxes sometimes. Um, what's also unavoidable is crouching by it will cause clipping issues, or at least I think it's unavoidable. I haven't uh, but I mean one one way you can remedy that is just by putting a player clip in front of the thing so players can't get all the way up to the skybox brush and so as you can see the 3d skybox is fully working I really hope this tutorial helped you uh, I try to explain this in a concise way I try to do my tutorials without any preparation beforehand I just kind of start talking and go with it so thank you for watching um, yeah Thanks, bye.